So I've started with the raking. This is about to get raked out and become, on the left here, wildflowers. I probably have a day or two of raking and whatnot here. There's a lot of thatch. That'll eventually build up the berm on the, between the road and this trail. And uh, that'll have shrubs and whatnot, so further kind of secludes this, makes it look good. Anyway, over here I've been working on <clears throat> getting the conduit for the uh, 12 volt from the solar array and the battery system you know, that connects to the cabins to get here to the water tank with the pump, which needs fixing. There's something that looks better than that. I'm thinking something like 18th century as opposed to oh, 1980s trailer park, which is what it is right now. So anyway, um, that comes into this area here, which I've been kind of raking out. I'm trying to create an area over here where I'll we'll eventually put something down, I don't know, bark mulch or something so you can walk on it and it doesn't get too dusty. Because right now everything's moist, but it's gonna dry out. The idea here is, I don't want to have to bury all this conduit, so I'm going to create another berm here with that material, which is going to get raked over the top of it to go down this path that I'm creating. This is a field I just started working on, I don't know, two, four days ago? Anyway, it's first raking, and I'm getting all the pine needles and whatnot in another berm here. And the reason why is that the prevailing wind comes from the south, which is that way, and comes tearing through here, and what I want to do is have an area over here where there's like wildflowers again, this is all getting wildflowers, um, and then here I'm going to try potatoes and root vegetables and whatnot stuck on top of the pine straw and then covered with dirt. And I'm hoping that eventually it'll grow up enough where I can start growing vetch over that fencing, which will create a kind of a windbreak for the area where people will be sitting. Anyway, <clears throat> that's this whole thing. You can see I've only got about halfway across the field, and you can see more of this. Anyway, it gets quite thick, and it's like a moonscape, so between raking all this up and then finding enough soft dirt to kind of fill in some of the craters so at least you don't twist a foot, um, and that's what we're at. I figure it would be wildflowers for a couple of years, and then just every fall rake it out, spring rake it out, until it kind of gets smooth enough where I could maybe run one of those push mowers over it a couple of times a year to keep the fire danger down. Anyway, that comes around this way to the next path. You can see the, that area over there. Right now I'm storing yard tools and whatnot down there and using that. This whole area here, of course, between the berm and the trail, this is all going to get raked out here in the next couple of days and get wildflowers as well. <sighs> Last year when the driveway went in, um, we didn't get any rain. So, and the fines still haven't settled out of it, even after a snow melt, so it's getting good, but it's not there yet. And as you expected, all the fines from this new gravel have washed all the way down here into where it usually is a big muddy quagmire each year in the spring. Yeah, but uh, because it's carpet on top of gravel, um, that was not entirely possible, so what happens is all the mud washes, mixes with the gravel, and it comes over here, where I have dug out, goes across this trail area, which I've created, which is going to go around the little seasonal pond thing, and on the way there it starts settling out the finds, until over here, comes around up to here, and there we go, and then I've been manually just kind of separating it. What ends up happening is the water comes in, and it separates out the thin 
muddy mud stuff. And that mud there can be used to stabilize the banks because this was all gravel. So it doesn't just collapse in and something can kind of give it some, make it rigid anyway. Eventually I'll line it with something waterproof, but anyway, that's this is where all the water goes. Because it's all downhill, right? Water flows downhill. There we go. This is a great place to sit in the morning with a cup of coffee because it's kind of sunny out here. But we've got protection all the way around. So it's not baking horrible sun like it is most places in Spokane or on the property, actually, especially the south side of the property. Now, this, of course, continues around. I haven't done any of this yet. This still has yet to be done with carpet and gravel. You can see I got a few garp fragments up here at the tall parts where it gets really bad. You know, so you can drive over it even in the early spring. This has all been raked out, of course, and seeded last year. I just haven't raked the light pine needles off of it. What I'm working on <clears throat> yesterday was this area, which is also getting raked out. This is second year being raked out, but it's still getting wildflowers. This is all going to be wildflowers. And then, of course, the extra dirt and thatch and whatnot gets piled up on that berm. And get a little secluded little forest trail with more wildflowers. And then, boom, you can see there's the neighbor. So, my thought is neighbor is here on this side of the fence, right? And then over here is the berm, which is going to hide that. And behind the berm is the wildflowers and the little forest trail that goes back to the area with the hand pump, which has the little sheltered area from the wind and the sun when it's hot and miserable. So, you can kind of hang out and have a cup of coffee and chat with folks or whatever. This is the kind of the concept. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of raking, but this is the general area here. I like to cart the little barbecue up here occasionally and just kind of, this is kind of a nice place to hang out. But I can sit here a lot of times. And before that started falling apart, watch the birds kind of land on the edge of the pot and get a drink, you know, like a, because they like the sheltered area, you know, it's like a little bit of a clearing with a lot of low branches for the birds. So I'm trying to kind of keep that going, especially by adding the, like I say, the windbreak behind me made out of the fencing, which eventually I'm hoping to have overgrown with like vetch and hops and whatever, that kind of stuff. Maybe some morning glory. Anyway, so that's the state of the garden report. It's still relatively quiet. No one's running heavy machinery today. And that's part of all the berms, so I don't have to hear them. Heavy machinery, chainsaws, gunfire, screaming kids, barking dogs, all that. Make it all go away. So, here we are. And that's it for today.